Alicia, do you like cake? Um, no. What? But I do like ice cream, vegan ice cream. No, sorry, cake beats ice cream. I win. Get it in. Go. No. Go. No, <gasps> no Reese. No. Go away. What? Go away. What? what? We don't do that now. We do that on a Tuesday when we do Summer Showdown. Oh, fine. If you want a chance to decide who wins out, myself and Alicia, head over to the Summer Showdown page and give us your comments. Who do you agree with? Are you Team Reese or Team Alicia? My robot's gonna thrash because. But what about dinner? It's half eleven. Ah, oh, snack time. Great. Do you fancy a bag of crisps? Bouncer? No. I want to start the battle of the century if that's all right. All right, listen. Jenny's looking for you. Look at the state of this room. Um, nothing to do with me. Me neither. I think I heard Nathan say something about having a change around today. Nathan. OK, Hercules, you can do it. And it's crunch to the left. Hercules swings to the right. But it's too late. Crunch has got him. Or has he? Oh, this is something else. Hercules going into overdrive. There's no stopping him now. And it's all over for Cruncher. I wanted to talk to you both about something. Now, I know your Aunt Katrina usually has you for a couple of days each Christmas, but she's called to say that she's now thinking about having you going to stay with her full time. Yeah. Wicked. How do you feel about that banter? How do you think he feels? This is fantastic. Come on. Come on, let's go pack our stuff. Come on, help me. Come on, you need to go fast than that. Come on. Your beaker. Hey, Snoops. Bouch and me are going to go and live with my Aunt Katrina. What? Great, innit? At last, freedom. Cookie Cat doesn't bother with bedtimes or sitting down to meals. She's always trying to patch up some old junk to sell on a market store. Meanwhile, we get to do what we like. Here, present for you. Nathan, get your feet off there. And have you finished in the dining room, by the way? Dining room? You better get it tidied up. Hey, Mum, what did your last slave die of? Slave? What do you mean, slave? Oh, what? <laughs> What's up, Bouncer? You know what Aunt Katrina's like. Come on. Cookie Cat's great. How many adults do you know that don't notice if you stay up all night watching War to War videos? I can't wait. Well, I can. It's bad enough one week each Christmas. Never mind forever. I remember last year when she was mending those Victorian potties and forgot to defrost the turkey. We had chicken nuggets. OK, she boiled them, but... Oh. I want to stay here. I bet you wouldn't give us any manky chicken nuggets for Christmas. Um, you don't want to stay at the dumping ground for Christmas, Bouncer. It's pants. It's worse than pants. It's great big smelly long johns. My mum and me always have a wonderful time at home. It's the simple things that matter. Those little touches that make it so special. Since when have you gone home for Christmas? Well, not recently, but not ever. Anyway, Bouncer, Tracy's talking rubbish as usual. Christmas here is great. It is. Fantastic. Duke whips up the scrummiest food, the place is decorated like Santa's Grotto, and we have a really big party. See? What do you have to go and say that for, Dubrain? Nathan, you really are very childish. Oh, lay off, Duke. Chill out for a change, will you? I was doing my first co-worker job when you were feeling that this. Ooh, give it a rest, you two. Hey! Hey, what are you two up to? We're only playing care workers, Jenny. <gasps> oh. Why are Duke and Nathan friends? We are friends, Dolly. Shake hands, then. Better. Have you better pack your stuff? No. Come on, Bounce. I'm fed up with this place. 
Crash my style. Well, I like it here. I'll have a great time around cats. She can't even cook. Uh, we'll make her own microwave meals. They're impossible to mess up. I don't want to go, lol. You know what's mucking things up for me? Well, if you feel like that, why don't you just go by yourself then? Mm, maybe I will. What's wrong? Well, I'm not going anywhere, am I? I mean, who's going to look after Bouncer if I'm not here? Maybe we can persuade him to go. No. Once he's made up his mind, that's it. He doesn't want to miss anything here, right? Well, we have to throw the wickedest, most rip-roaring Christmas this side of the North Pole. Though it's basic psychology, we create the ultimate dumping ground Christmas experience. He'll leave it happy. Because he knows he won't be missing out on anything he hasn't already had. Exactly. And rest assured, Lowe, organising such an event is a minor task of my superb creative skills. One slight problem, Trace. Christmas is ages away. Well, the dumping ground it isn't. What are you doing? It's for Bouncer. We're making Christmas for him. Cool, we'll help. Louise will make the lovely Christmas food. Quick! Going on? Um, well, we were just um, <laughs> playing outside and um, <clears throat> um, and now we're playing inside. <laughs> right. Okay then. Go on. Why is there a tree in the cupboard? Shh. Because we're making Christmas later. Nice one. And I'm personally going to make it the best Christmas the dumping grounds ever had. <laughs> Gravy granules, flour, and of course, a selection of cheese. Louise, uh, we're making Christmas pudding. We are. You decorated it yet? Uh, what is all that? Christmas pudding and brandy butter. Actually, Adele, it's gravy granule pudding and cola butter. Ugh, gross! We're making Christmas for Bouncer before he leaves. Oh. Hang on, I've got an idea. Jenny's secret chocolate supply. Thanks, Adele. <laughs> what on earth? Nathan. Do you two know what this is? Well, Duke was using glue to mend something yesterday, I think. Right. I want a word with you. you. How can I help you? Oh, nice veggies. Louise told me you two weren't friends anymore. Look, Louise, they are now. <laughs> My mum bought me this. Bouncer, you don't have to go to Aunt Katrina's if you don't want to. Lol wants to go. Well, you could stay here. What about Lol? Nah, he needs me to take care of him. Well. Let me know if you change your mind. OK. So that's it, then? You told Jenny? 
Yeah. I thought about it and I can't do it. Me neither. We're ready. Forget it, Tracy. Bounce has told Jenny he wants to stay here. No, I haven't. I've decided I'm going to go to Aka Tuna's with you. OK, not for schmaltz. Get both your butts up in the attic. It's Christmas Day. Yeah. Come on. Well? And welcome to the Dublin Girl Christmas Experience! Yeah. Yeah. Let the party commence. First game, grab Santa's beard. Ready? Woo. Out of the way! Nathan, you taking my wellies? Oh, what would I want with your wellies? They were here this morning and now they're gone. Oh, ooh, Nathan, do you? First you trashed my favourite jumper and now you're accusing me of stealing. All right, enough. I think we need a quiet little word in my office. Ten minutes. I've just got a pop next door. Mr Garnet's got a problem. Something to do with missing fir trees. Bounce! Get me! Um, what are you all doing? Tracy? That's charming, that is. <clears throat> Here I am, risking life and limb for this care home. Look at what it did to your rain, Mac. It was totally vicious, it was. This humongous rat would have got Dolly too if I hadn't distracted it. But now, thanks to my supreme courage and outstanding cunning, the dumping ground is a safer place. Tracy, my office now. It's not her fault, Jenny. She was doing it to help me. We were just trying to make Christmas for Bouncer so he doesn't miss anything when we go. A proper dumping ground Christmas? Peace and goodwill to all men. And women. So... What's the next game? Yeah! <laughs> That was such a laugh. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> That's a lovely tree, Lo. Where'd you get it? Uh, I just borrowed it. So, did you borrow it locally? <sighs> Hello, it's Katrina Pluck over here, Lol and Bouncer's aunt. I've thought things through and decided maybe it's not such a good idea to take the boys. The store's really taken off and I don't think I'm going to have time to look after them. I'm so sorry. I'll call them soon and explain. There's a message from Aunt Katrina on the answer phone. Lola Bounce can't go after all. What happened? Well, she's fine, but there was a slight accident. Well, I'd better give her a call. You are right, Bouncer. Honestly, Aunt Katrina, someone should keep an eye on her. She's changed her mind, hasn't she? So it's goodbye, Freedom. It's OK. Anyway, me and Bouncer decided we'd rather stay here. Great! So we can have Christmas again next week? Yeah! yeah. Very funny, yeah. Tracy. I'm joking. So, who's been very, very good this year? Me! 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 First thing you see when you look in the mirror. Let's do this. The first thing I see is the fact that I am black, and that's something I am very proud of. When I look into the mirror, I see my eczema. Whatever it may be, it's always good to talk about it with friends. What do you think of my hair? Why do you hate your freckles? Maybe it's more on the outside, but you're bigger on the inside. This is such a great chat. Listen to these stories and more in Brand New Skin Deep.
tomorrow at 7.55 on CBBC and BBC iPlayer. 